All right, welcome back, Havana Smoker. And uh, today we got a real treat for you. Uh, I'm going to go through a Cigar Family Charitable Foundation Opus X, and also I'm going to go through a pair of boots that you'll probably never see. And uh, so, well, let's get right into it, okay? So two things. One is, uh, and we'll get back to these boots. These are Ammon's Dallas Cowboy boots with an ostrich inlay. <laughs> and they've got the Cowboy Star. And, uh, and then on the back, an ostrich inlay of a football. But uh, more about those in a, in a bit. We're going to start out with the cigar so we can get that lit. This is the uh, 2015 Toast Across America Cigar Family Charitable Foundation from J.C. Newman. And there were two cigars in here. And uh, I've already smoked one. I smoked a Julius Caesar. And uh, what's left is the Opus X. And I think this will be really good. So, Taste of Love, uh, and uh, as I indicate, two cigars, but the uh, I, I highly encourage you to pick up the cigars from the Charitable Foundation, the Ch Cigar Family Charitable Foundation, because these are, goes to a great cause, it uh, helps the uh, build schools in the Dominican, J.C. Newman has some great charitable endeavors so and it comes in a real cool box I think these the the price on these is pretty uniform it's fifty dollars for two of them and uh, they're really ultra premium cigars and so if we open up here we'll see what's left in here is the the Opus X and uh, hopefully that'll and it's a big size it's a torpedo and uh, it's really it's a special edition and again just uh beautiful cigar I actually took it out of the wrapper already and I thought you know what I'm gonna do a video because I mean I'd ever get another one of these and I wanted to promote the uh, Cigar Family Charitable Foundation for all the good work they do and you know I think all I think all the money I think they donate these cigars and then the money uh, goes back to that and so that's a it's a really good cause you can see it's a beautiful cigar a torpedo and uh, it's it's similar to the shark. So those of you may be uh, familiar with the Opus or, or the uh, Arturo Fuente, um, the Anejo that comes out at Christmas time, and it, it's the uh, the shark. And so it's uh, uh, square into round, and uh, re really cool. You can see that um, how they do that. It takes a real uh, roller to do that so so let's uh, switch around here and I'll get situated get my zoom back and we'll talk about the cowboy boots here in a moment but uh, let, me, uh, let me get this get this lit up here so this is Again, the uh, torpedo, but it's a nice size, and to get it lit here. It seems like it's funny though. It's like half dark and half like brown, half dark brown, half regular brown in the bottom and the filler. So I don't know why that is. I've never seen that before, but uh, it takes a little bit to light this one because it's uh, pretty hefty. So a lot of good smoke, and uh, it's Opus. So it's going to be, it's going to be pretty, uh, you know. It's going to have its uh, kick to it. And that part that was dark 
on the bottom there. It's still a little bit dark, so I don't know. But the Opus is a Dominican, and you know, most cigars these days are uh, Nicaraguan, and so it's a rare treat to get really good, good tobacco Dominican. Now, this is 2015, so we're in 2020, so it's nice five year aged. Which I came across this last year actually at a uh, cigar shop, and sometimes you can find these. They'll, they'll uh, have them kind of hidden away or in a case because a lot of people don't want to pay 50 bucks for two cigars. But these are really special cigars, so I highly recommend them. This was up in Little Italy in Cleveland, a little cigar shop up there, nice little shop. So I had him open up the case and uh, I'm grabbing it. Alright, so as we smoke this, the draw is very nice. Good flavor, not not spicy, I'm not a big fan of spicy, so it's not spicy, but it is strong. And uh, it's got a lot of character to it. That's a word for cigar, but it really does. And uh, it's an enjoyable smoke. I'm going to like it. So, so let's talk about these. Uh, Dallas Cowboy Custom Made Cowboy Boots. These are made by Ammons. Ammons is a, a famous boot company in El Paso, Texas. They make really high quality stuff. And uh, I'm not a huge cowboy fan myself, not really much of a fan at all. But um, but I had to pick these up. Uh, I saw them online and I uh, polished them up. It was a little bit of a chore to polish these because you got the, the navy blue and then you got the kind of cream color there to match the cowboy's colors. And uh, so I didn't want to get the navy blue onto the cream, so I used a neutral there, but I, I did use a navy blue boot cream. I think I got them pretty good, but really cool. Got the star and then uh, got the football on the back and that's ostrich. And uh, this is really smooth. I would say like baby calf or something, you know, it's really just a smooth, soft leather around the ostrich. But uh, I'll be putting these back up on eBay and uh, hopefully some Lucky Cowboy fan will get these. Uh, they they're, truly are one of a kind there. Size, uh, I believe they're 10 or 10 and a half D. They fit in the axle perfect, so kind of hate to get rid of them, but you know, I'm not a Cowboy fan. So uh, you know, if these were Cleveland Browns, yeah, I'd probably keep them, but uh, uh, they probably won't look as good. This is really cool, the, the star. Of course, Dallas Cowboys, Cowboy Boot. How can you go wrong there? So it's a uh, Amazing boots, um, yeah, just uh, hope the camera's picking it up there, I'll stand up here in a minute and see, but uh, just really, really cool, and like I said, Ammons, Ammons makes great boots, um, my guess is these things were a couple thousand dollars new to, to make, and they look brand new now, I mean, they have very, very minimal wear, and uh, I, I've, uh, touched up everything and they, they look brand new. So, uh, you know, we'll see what they go for. I'm hoping to get around 600 bucks for them, so we'll see. So back to the Opus. Um, again, drawn good. It's a big smoke. This one's going to take over an hour, I'm sure, because of the size. But I do like torpedoes. I just, I just think they're cool. And this, this one here, the square, around is, is really unique so uh, cool night you know to do, do both uh, again I'll give you a little close up on the boot hopefully see the craftsmanship on the boot there the star and you can see the ostrich in there a the little bit of a hmm. 
Yeah, isn't that beautiful? next time cheers and I uh, hope you like my channel Havana smoker